We all use several different devices to access our Google account, so let's look at some ways to keep your Google account safe. You will need a computer running the current version of the Google Chrome browser attached to the internet. A Google account. The Google Authenticator app installed on a mobile device connected to the internet. We'll begin by signing into our Google account from the Google home page. Next, we will need to access our security settings. To do this, click on the profile picture in the upper right hand corner of the screen and click on the account hyperlink. There are six menus or links at the top of this page. Click on the security link. This will open the security screen that gives you access to all the security settings for your Google account. We can use the recent activity for devices to see if our account has been accessed by an unknown device or hacker. Click on the View Activity link. The screen displays the type of device and the location of the device that access your account. On my example, you can see that someone has logged into my Google account from Romania. This would be a red flag indicating that someone else has gained access to my Google account, as I have not traveled to Romania. My next step should be to change my password to keep the unauthorized people out of my account. I'm going to click on the back button to go back to the security home screen. If you want to change your password, click on the change password link. You should consider changing your password several times a year to keep your account safe. You should also change your password any time you notice suspicious activity of any sort on your account. When you click on the link, you will see the second screen asks you for your current password, and then you would enter your new or updated password. If you choose to give Google a recovery phone number, it gives you an easy alternative to recover your account or password if forgotten. Google's Terms of Service state that they will not use your phone number for marketing purposes or sell it or give it away to a third party. You can also give Google a recovery email, which also would be an easy alternative for recovering a forgotten password. If you frequently access your Google account from public computers, or if you have several people sharing the same computer, you should consider turning on the two-step verification. This will require people to have both your mobile device present and your password to access your Google account. We will review the steps for setting up your two-step verification next. Click on the Setup hyperlink. Click on the Start Setup button. In order to set up the two-step verification, you will need to give Google your mobile phone number. They are going to send you a code to your phone to confirm the phone number. Enter your phone number on the screen. After entering the number, click on the Send Code button. When you receive the text message with the code, type it into the next screen and click on the Verify button. You can tell Google to trust the computer you are using, which means you would enter the verify code only once on the computer. You can do this by checking the Trust Computer checkbox. Or, if you want to require that the verification code is entered every time you access your Google account on this computer, uncheck the box. Click the Next button. The next screen just confirms your selection. Click the Confirm button. If you haven't already done so, make sure you have the Google Authenticator app installed on your phone. I'm going to tell it to use the app instead of text messaging the authentication code to my phone. I will click on the Switch to App button. You'll need to indicate what type of mobile device you are using the app on. Click Continue. 
Google will put a QR code on the screen for you to scan with the Google Authenticator app on your phone. Once you scan the code with the Authenticator app, it will connect the app and your account together. When you receive the code on the phone screen, type the code into the code field on the computer and click the Verify and Save button. If you've typed the correct code, you will see a success, success screen next. Google will then give you a summary of your two-step verification setup. I'm going to log out of the account and check to make sure the two-step verification is working correctly. When I log back into the account for the first time after setting up the verification, you will see a screen indicating that you set up your phone as the verification device. Click the Update Now button to continue. If I switch to another computer, I'll be forced to enter the verification code from my phone. Let's look at how that's going to work next. If this is a public computer, make sure you uncheck the box that says don't ask for codes again on this computer. Hey, it worked! Because I unchecked the box, if I sign out and sign in again, it will force me to use the code from my phone again. You cannot sign out of your Google account from a mobile device. You will need to rely on the built-in security for your mobile devices such as the fingerprint reader, a passcode, or a pattern code to secure your Google account on your mobile device. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel to stay up to date and connected on the current mobile technologies.